Good day everyone and welcome to another quick tip. Today I will be showing you a quick tip in, in regards to animation, as you already know. Um, first of all, I just want to show you this animation right here. It's just a walk cycle. I stretched it again to be um, twice the original length. So let's just up the frame rate for the sake of the example. Let's make it six, no, 50. Let's make it 50. I uh, just want to stretch that out. Now what I've already done here is I've done a basic walk cycle, not super fancy since this is going to be an extra for another project, um, but I just want you to see how it runs. See, nice and loose, loops fine. But when you try to scale this using nearest frame as your auto snap, look at what happens to the synchronization of the loops. Look at what happens with his legs, see? <laughs> Not very convincing, is it? Looks sort of like a weird dance anyway. Um, now the reason for this is this um, snap method over here. It's called auto snap. Now in order to adjust animations like this one, you know, that's controlled entirely with the dope sheet, you need to select no auto snap. Whether you scale it up, whether you scale it down, make sure that no auto snap is selected. So let me show you that it actually does work. Scale 2.5. Now if you play it again, See over here, over there, absolutely solid. And that's it for this quick tip. I hope this helps you. If you were confused about why your animations were going all wonky when you tried to adjust them, this is probably the reason. So have a great day and God bless.